Today we are taking a look at some amazing tutorials that are aimed at different skill levels and cover a wide range of topics such as modeling, animation, texturing and more. So grab a cup of coffee and enjoy the video. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know about this Blender training. You will learn the complete process of designing a stylized anime-inspired environment concept art from start to finish. The instructor, Gary Chang, is a game environment concept artist lead with six years of industry experience. He will teach you how to take your design ideas, references, and sketches and turn them into finished concept art using the modeling, texturing, and the rendering process in Blender and post-processing in Photoshop. Throughout this course, you will learn how to create a broken Japanese city scene with vegetation covering the buildings and dirty walls. You will also see how to cultivate your ideas and how to think about world building and environments holistically. Additionally, you will learn how to use the 3D software such as Blender to assist you to work efficiently, making your environment more stylized and adding details quickly. The training will start with an introduction to design thinking and overview, in addition to how to analyze references and sync composition, also how to sketch your own concepts. Next, you will see how to model, texture and light your scenes, and finally, you will render your project and import it to Photoshop to add the details and do some post-processing. The first one is gonna be from Kaizen Tutorials. This tutorial is about the new caustics in Blender. In this video, you will model a drinking glass and see how you can render the new caustics in Blender because they are not enabled by default. Caustics are the light rays that are refracted or reflected from a transparent surface like glass or water. Usually this effect is really heavy to render and it produces a lot of noise, but this workflow can achieve a great result without compromising your performance. Brad from Light Architect also uploaded a tutorial on how to use the build modifier in Blender. You can do this to create a construction animation and this is an easy and simple workflow that revolves around separating your mesh into different groups and using a build modifier to animate each one of them at different intervals. You will see also other ways to control the order in which the elements are built using the set elements function. So you can start the animation from the position of the cursor or based on the XYZ axis and so on. Now, jumping to animation and simulation, we have this tutorial from Raffle VFX on how to create this car animation slash simulation in Blender, where you will see a step-by-step -step breakdown of the process from start to finish. The workflow revolves around using cloth physics in Blender instead of the shape key approach. This way you can drop your car in the environment and the crash simulation will create the whole animation procedurally. The tutorial is divided into three parts. The first one focuses on setting up the car model and the object that you're gonna use in the simulation. And the second one will be about making the car crash simulation, the deformation of the body car, the doors, the hood, and so on. And in the third part, you'll focus on other parts that are not gonna be deformable, like the wheels, the back bumper, the muffler, etc. Also still with the topics of destruction and simulations, Granite Films on YouTube uploaded a tutorial on how to create this awesome destruction simulation without using any add-ons or external tools, which would work on any model. Through the tutorial, you will see how to model the building itself from scratch. Next, you're gonna use the effect of Quick Explode to fracture the building using the particle system. The explosion itself is cleverly achieved by putting a rigid body's mesh inside the building. This is such an intelligent solution because I usually try to limit the overlapping between physics objects to limit exploding geometry, not the other way around. And you will finish everything up with some smoke, debris, and a lot of broken glass. You can also learn how to create this tranquil landscape animation in Blender. Ducky3D uploaded an awesome tutorial on how to create this dreamy miniature landscape with a little animation in under 20 minutes. The tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create the terrain, the planet, set up the lighting, and create the body of the water. This is one of the tutorials that you don't have to follow exactly step-by-step, -step because you can apply these ideas to any of the scenes you are working on. Finally, you will finish the tutorial by animating the scene day and night cycles and rendering the animation. Next, we have this modeling tutorial from Polygon Runaway on creating this glass with ice in Blender. 
this tutorial will teach you how to model, light, and apply shaders on your scene. Another great tutorial from the same creator is the Martian Walk animation, and although this has no commentary, it is really great if you want to achieve the same results. You will start first by modeling the astronaut, rigging it, and creating the walk animation. You will also model the robot and create the looping planet backdrop, and I think this one is fun if you want to check it out. Now jump into CAD modeling in Blender, Jonathan from the Maker Tales YouTube channel uploaded two videos on how to use the new CAD sketcher in Blender to create this model. The tool allows you to create precise 2D shapes by defining CAD geometric constraints like tangents, distance, angles, etc. These sketches can then convert it into Bezier or meshes which stay fully editable through a full non-destructive workflow. Also, CR Anti Designer uploaded a multi-part series on how to model a sword in Blender. This is an intermediate modeling tutorial that goes over the process of creating a fully textured sword step by step. In the first part, you will see how to model the blade of the sword and create a clean topology. In the second video, you will model the handle of the sword and see how you can create the handle wrap. The third one is all about UV wrapping your model, in addition to how to get the best textile density for your UVs and how to pack all of them correctly. The series is still not over yet, but if you are new to Blender and you want to practice some more modeling skills, this one is gonna be good for you. Also, the Full Cube YouTube channel uploaded an awesome geometry node tutorial on how to fake a confetti in Blender. This technique is super versatile because you don't have to use it only with confetti. The principles you're gonna learn in this tutorial are applicable to snow, terrains, or hail basically anything that falls from the sky and because it's not a particle system but rather geometry node based it's actually geometry that you can control with parameters and it is entirely mesh based so we can control the behavior the speed and other parameters with ease if you want to create a card stone effect in blender using projection mapping Pierre Picot from p2 design uploaded a tutorial on how to create the carved stone effect in the last trailer from the game Nora. In this video, you will see two different projection mapping methods and how to paint the small details in stone. The workflow is surprisingly simple and easy to achieve. It revolves around using the height map and projecting it into the mesh and you will see how you can get rid of the jagged edges. The small details can be painted manually in the texture paint mode by smearing the edges or painting new details altogether. You can also learn how to make a waterfall using video footage and transparency in Blender. Grant Abbott uploaded a tutorial on how to incorporate a waterfall video footage in your scene by grabbing a video of a waterfall from the internet and then importing it into Blender. Jump into the shader editor, you can use the alpha property in the principal shader to remove the background leaving you only with a 2D plane or a waterfall, and this can be later used inside your scene. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.